do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. G'day everyone. Well, it's the 2nd of February today, 2020. Happy New Year's to you all again, if you haven't heard it already too many times beforehand. Um, this is an update for the unlawful detention that happened um, at Manukau County's outside the police station on the footpath when uh, Hannah JK72 was told by Dave to uh, come and get my details because for some reason someone exercising their rights on a public footpath, namely to seek, receive and impart information and opinions of any kind in any form, that's section 14 of the Bill of Rights 1990 in case you guys don't know and I'm talking to all of you members out there. So yeah, um, where we left off in the last video post, um, Tamil Logan uh, rang me up from Otahu Police Station and um, admitted that uh, my rights weren't respected and that I was uh, not detained correctly so yeah that's uh, where we left off now he said there'd be a letter being sent out to me from the New Zealand police um, which I got so I'm going to read this out to you now I'm just going to go through what's happened since now as well as the IPCA that I filed I also filed an OIA request directly to the Department of Internal Affairs for any of the CCTV footage. Um, they of course responded back saying, hey, so why are you contacting us? You need to contact the police. And the reason I do that is because all IPA, IPCA complaints go to the police, according to the police. So um, why fuck around with a bottom rung when you can just skip and go up to the second one? Now the reason I do that is because if it goes straight to the police, they can actually just whitewash it, throw it under the carpet, wipe their ass with it, it doesn't make a difference. But if I'm sending it to the next rung up and then the shit rolls back downhill to them, well, then they can't cover it up because they know that the Department of Internal Affairs already has a copy of what's going on and they're going to need to be kept apprised of it. So, um, yeah, that and I made the OIA to the Department of Internal Affairs, not to the police. And that department is liable to respond to that Official Information Act request. Anyway, enough babbling on. So, um, after speaking to Tamil, he sent me this letter. Now, I'll play the phone call very quickly with enough cutting out the crap. G'day, is that Mark? Speaking. G'day, Mark. It's Samuel Logan here. I'm the um, response senior sergeant for County's Manukau West um, Police. Um, I'm ringing because um, I've got a, um, a file from the IPCA. Yes. In, in relation to a complaint where you have had interactions with one of my staff and um, I was just ringing about that complaint. Um, so, yep, I've had a chat to, const to, the, to the Constable Hannah. Um, mm -hmm. I've had a watch of your you YouTube videos um, and I uh, have to uh, accept that... Um, in my opinion, that you were told you were detained and you were not allowed to leave, and that you weren't given a lawful reason for that detention, mm -hmm. and that you weren't given your Bill of Rights. I uh, have to uh, accept that, um, in my opinion, that you were told you were detained and you were not allowed to leave, and that you weren't given a lawful reason for that detention, mm -hmm. and that you weren't giving your Bill of Rights. So I'm, um, I've had a chat to the constable, made sure, and the constable sergeant, so we've used it as a training opportunity for the constable okay. and um, the rest of the section. Yeah. Uh, and I will um, obviously be um, forwarding that information back to the IPCA. We've, we've used it as a learning curve and, um, you know, Thankfully, that you weren't thrown on the ground and handcuffed and dragged down to the cell block. Well, it would have been would have made great footage. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been rather embarrassing. Yeah, anyone's allowed to film anyone in a public place. At the moment, yeah. New Zealand law doesn't say we don't have a law that says you're not allowed to film a government building or a government institution or anything like that. If yeah. you're in a public place, you're allowed to film in a public place. So yeah. the that's, um, that's right. That's that's uh, that's the. Uh, 
the law of the land and mm. and uh, and until it, it gets changed, if it ever gets changed, that's the way it is. So I can, I'm, I'm responsible for my own staff, and so, you know, yeah, no, I have no, to no. accept what we've done in this case. And um, I can't change anything. No, you know, no. She, did it. She, she, she was acting in good faith from you know, I, I agree. what she thought it was the I right agree. thing to do, and, yep. and she's made a mistake. We've talked about it, we've learned from it, and... Move on, and you know, and we won't happen again. Good man. That's right, yeah. So, all right. So I will I will send you a bit of an apology letter as well on behalf of I appreciate police that. from what I've got there. Could you please pass on my regards to them all because they were extremely pleasant and lovely people. Which just uh, yeah, don't use the authority unless you've got the reason to. Sweet as I will do that. We've we've, we've, met, we've had a few conversations. About that. <laughs> I'm sure you do. A great cat around the water cooler. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't around the water cooler though. <laughs> but yeah. Just so long as everybody's learnt from it and it all goes well. I mean, if I strike anything bad, just as much as anything good, it all goes up on YouTube. And I think for the most point, I mean, I've recorded hundreds of police encounters in my time and 99% of the time, there's no issues. It's mm. only only two occasions where I've been unlawfully detained. So, And that's pretty good going over eight years. So, hey. It's um it is one of those things and yeah, some people when they're not sure mm. they they think I've got to hold on to them till I know sure. better, which is what the case was in the state yeah, you know, mm. in this situation. But yeah, she's yeah. learned that you've got to have a reason to detain someone. So All right, so um then on the tenth of December I got a uh, letter sent out to me. Um re IPCA complaint reference nineteen zero six seven six for unlawful detention. On the 18th of October 2019, you submitted a complaint to the Independent Police Conduct Authority website regarding the matter, uh, the manner you, you were dealt with by police on the 29th of August 2019. Police spoke to you on Manukau Station Road and formally detained you. You reported that while the officers were polite in your opinion, they had unlawfully detained you and that you found this unacceptable and unnecessary. On behalf of New Zealand Police, I would like to apologise that your experience with us left you feeling that we had been unprofessional and acted unlawfully. So he's not apologising for doing it, he's apologising that I, that, that, <coughs> I would like to apologise that your experience with us left you feeling. So he's not apologising for the actions, he's apologising for the fact that I feel a certain way. You apologise for your actions, not for how I'm feeling. How I feel, it's got fuck all to do with anyone else. Um, New Zealand Police's vision is to have the trust and confidence. There's those key words, people. That's how New Zealand works. It's how government works. It's how any legislative body works. Through the trust and confidence of the people. How much trust do you have in the New Zealand Police right now, people? On this occasion, our actions did not meet with the appropriate level of professionalism. Oh, so their actions did not meet with professionalism. This isn't me making them appear unprofessional. This isn't me making them appear uneducated. This is him admitting that they are. All right. We acknowledge the distress this has caused you and the officer involved regrets his errors. Well, it was a female that came and spoke to me. I thank you for understanding in this matter. Now, this is after we've had our phone call. Um, and appreciate you bringing this complaint to our attention. Really? Do you? Because that's not what it appears in your further intelligence gathering that I've acquired from Scott Dixon. Thank you for understanding this matter. The, the issues raised have served to remind all officers involved and New Zealand Police that our performance is constantly assessed by members of the public and there will always be a need to ensure everyone is treated with courtesy and respect. I never said I wasn't treated with courtesy and respect, I'm simply saying that they've breached my freedom of movement then they unlawfully detained me. Now people might say that an officer isn't unlawfully detaining me but they are lawfully detaining me without reason to do so, which to me makes it unlawful, but <laughs> semantics. Hopefully any future contact you have with the police will meet the high standards of service we do strive for. Well, it's, it's, so long as it abides by the law and you don't overstep, sure. And that was from Tamil Logan, um, or Terence and Mule Logan. Now, 
um, I've spoken to someone that actually has known Terence since he was a wee snapper and he's actually told me that Terence is one of the good guys so I shouldn't go too hard on him so for that reason Emil fair enough then three days later on the 13th of December I get a second letter from the IPCA dear Mr Keane I'm writing to let you know the outcome of your complaint Police have told the authority they have apologised for detaining you when there was no lawful basis to do so. There you go. They have discussed your complaint with the officers involved and have provided further training for the officer who detained you. Yeah, I would have thought after years of being a police constable, Hannah, that you would know you need reasonable grounds to do something like that and not just blindly follow orders from your superiors because they're paranoid or panic merchants. Thank you for bringing this matter to the authorities' attention. Well, you're bloody welcome, but I actually brought it to the public's attention. You're just a stepping stone that I go through. Um, <clears throat> now, this is all based um, from a, an original IPCA complaint, and I got the, the letter here. I'm not sure if I've shown you guys this one before. This is on the 17th of October when I first filed it um, on the police website and it says dear Mr Keane the authority has completed its initial assessment of your complaint and we are now seeking further information from police on that is received and assessed we will decide on the appropriate way to progress this matter please note that it may be six to eight weeks before you are informed of your decision or of our decision at that stage you will be contracted by uh, contacted sorry by either the authority or the police. The authority is not able to provide further information you have requested, i.e. the uh, Official Information Act. You all need to request this directly from the police. Well, no I don't. Um, I requested it directly from the Department of Internal Affairs. And guess what? I got something. Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us by telephone or email, quoting the reference number at the top of this letter. Well, fuck me. Thank you, Griffin. And that's uh, Smith. Um, he's a long-standing senior sergeant, or uh, from the tickets department generally. Um, now, on the fourth of December, um, I emailed oia at dia dot nz, and I wrote, "Good morning. Please refer to the attached PDF in relation to the official information at request for CCTV footage of the unlawful detention of myself on a footpath." outside Manukau Police Station on the 29th of August. I was informed by New Zealand Police to make this OIA directly to Department of Internal Affairs. Any questions, please contact myself on this number. Alright. Then we're moving on to the next one. Their response was on the 4th of December. Tenakoi, should I say, Mark. Thank you for your Official Information Act request to the Department of Internal Affairs, included with this email, which I'm not going to bother attaching. Unfortunately, you have been misinformed and the information you have requested is not held by the Department of Internal Affairs. Well, I never said it was. Um, but is believed to be held by and more closely related to the functions of New Zealand Police. You don't say. We are therefore transferring your request to that agency for response. Brilliant. It's exactly what I wanted to do. That shit to roll downhill to them. In accordance with Section 14B of the Official Information Act 1982, because they are obliged to send it to the correct authority. Uh, you can expect to hear from the receiving agency shortly in regards to your request. If you would like to contact them directly, you are able to email them at the following address. Ministerial Services, oh, sorry, ministerial.services, and that's capital N, capital S, at police.govt.nz. You have the right to seek an investigation and review by Ombudsman of this decision to transfer information about how to make a complaint is available, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you contact the gatekeeper, waste months of your time for nothing. They are absolutely useless. Um, then, on the 19th of December, I got this from County's Manukau Records Department. Good morning. I refer to your recent privacy request, it wasn't a, a privacy request, it was an Official Information Act request, but we'll move on, got to get these things right Wendy, which was directed from the Department of Internal Affairs to police specifically. Good. CC, uh, I, um, CCTV footage, available information and identity of supervisor relating to a claimed unlawful detention, file 19 blah 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 
Now bear in mind this is the 19th of December, a week, 10 days after just getting two apology letters from the police and the IPCA. So as for this alleged shit, it's now proven. So you can knock that off because it kind of makes the whole apology seem meaningless. If you other police, which are all members of the same fucking body, um, what particular members? I'm going to leave that out of it. I'll leave that for speculation. Um, before you receive any of your personal information, I wasn't asking for any personal information, we must be satisfied that we know who you are so that we don't risk giving information to the wrong person or persona. Um, therefore, please provide. Two forms of ID must be submitted, one of which must be photographic. You will also need to submit a photo of yourself holding one of the photo IDs. Take a selfie. If you cannot provide a photo of yourself holding both forms of ID, you will need to provide a written referee statement. That goes on to tell you the particulars of the identity of the referee, blah blah blah. And then it says file number, which you are requesting relates to a complaint you have laid against police. Yes, that's right. Um, it is unlikely to involve CCTV footage, etc. Well, why not? It happened on a public footpath directly underneath the purview of two cameras. And yet, for some reason, I'm only ever given footage of the camera facing in the other direction. Gee, perhaps all of that money you're paying for security doesn't work. Perhaps that's why they're paranoid and they have to come out and still talk to you on the sidewalk, because they don't know how to work the cameras properly. Who knows? Please submit the required documents within seven business days that your request can be processed. If you are unable to submit this by the time, then unfortunately we will have to close the request you need to resubmit. In other words, you've got seven days, otherwise we're just going to throw your shit in the trash. So, on the 19th of December, the exact same day I received that email, because I like to be snappy in my responses, Good afternoon, unnamed individual from New Zealand Police. Firstly, I am happy to supply you with the requested information you require. Secondly, there was no such claimed unlawful detention. I was unlawfully detained, according to both Tony Gale, Senior Case Resolution Officer of the IPCA, and Senior Sergeant Terence Emile Logan, TLH024, Response Manager of Counties Manukau. Perhaps you may wish to in future use the word proven, opposed to claimed, this may avoid the already stated apology from New Zealand police seeming meaningless and the author ignorant of the facts. I have attached both correspondence for your information to avoid any further misrepresentation of the facts. Also attached is a link to the unlawful detainment perpetrated by New Zealand police. Should, you, should the author require further correction, perhaps the training Terence mentioned via the attached phone call had not reached you as yet. And then I give them a link to the YouTube of the unlawful detainment. Also attached is a great shot of Tony, Sam, Scott and Hannah for your notice board. Should you require anything further, please do not hesitate to ask or call cell phone number. Regards me. And then I attach a whole shitload of photos and the phone call uh, along with even um, ACPO, ACPO's thing from the UK saying that photography in itself is not a crime and pull your fucking dicks out of your asses. I mean, these people are supposed to be out there to protect us and yet they're running around like scared little individuals because of a fucking Australian that they're using as an excuse that happened nine, ten months earlier. How fucking ridiculous is that? You know? I mean, New Zealand is supposed to be a land of free people, yeah? Or is it a democratic society where the mob rules the rest? You know? Think about, do you live in a society, or do you live fucking on Earth? Because it's all wordplay, it's all double speak, and it's all tricks in the language to gain compliance from all of you. Right, now, on the 17th of January, um, four weeks afterwards, and that's through Christmas, so not too bad. Good morning, Mark. Thank you for your copy of your driver's license. Oh, good, so she got a copy of that. But, see... There was only one photo actually attached in the email. The rest were all uploaded as JPEGs. So you actually had to click on the picture. This is just for the records department of County Manukau. When you see a picture in the text, then that's obviously been dragged and dropped in there. 
but if the if all the files being dropped in are larger than 25 meg then it will make a Google Drive and upload them and they will become JPEGs that you actually have to click on the little blue links which will open the picture so you can see the other pictures that you think you never received. This is just for you guys for a little bit more training because all I want to do is help. <sighs> to ensure we are providing you with the correct information I need you to clarify your request. So basic English is difficult your request is CCTV footage available information and identity of a supervisor relating to claimed unlawful detention and then the file number my understanding is that or my understanding of this is that so she's standing under what she's about to tell me you want the CCTV footage no I wish for it though you never want to be left wanting um, you want the available information and the identity of the supervisor related to the claim unlawful detention. This relates to file number 191 blah blah blah. File 191 relates to a complaint against police and therefore there will be no CCTV footage. Really. So I'm taking by that statement that if a complaint is against the police, there's naturally no CCTV footage. Really. Uh, so that I can investigate the other request, when and where did this unlawful detention take place? She's clearly not watched the video. She's clearly not read the notes made at the time of the incident. She's clearly not done fuck all research. She's just asking me questions that I've already supplied the answers to. Perhaps Wendy Griffiths um, is trying to aggravate me. But it didn't, because, you know... <sighs> I'm not even going to say it. On the 19th of January, I responded back to Wendy. Good morning, Wendy. Clearly, you have not looked at the attachments supplied, which include my footage, which has been posted on YouTube, showing the unlawful detention, which I've had an apology letters from Otahu, Counties, Manukau and IPCA, all agreeing it was unlawfully, it was unlawful to be detained without reasonable grounds for photography on a public footpath directly outside County's Manukau. On the 29th of August 2019, approximately 2.15, the file that you have quoted has this information, have you not looked? I have the footage of your, I have footage of your CCTV looking directly at me. And how is it possible you have no CCTV footage, given Dave, the supervisor, the panic merchant, according to our old mate, uh, What's his name? Scott. Um, the panic merchant saw me on your CCT footage, uh, CCTV footage to send JK Henna or JK72 Henna to get my details for legal activity. Not only have I supplied a photo of myself holding my driver's license as well as myself holding my birth certificate, you have not mentioned this. Well, sorry, why you have not mentioned this is beyond me. I have complied and supplied what was requested. Please explain why there is no CCTV footage for this unlawful detainment, not alleged, proven. Here is the link to the evidence which is irrefutable. Send her a link to it. Please do not insult my intelligence or demean New Zealand Police's already stated apologies. And that was it. And then I send her because you might have difficulty in understanding how to click on those little blue JPEG links I actually dragged and dropped all of the pictures onto that one which is why I'm blurring out Good morning We can confirm that a response to your privity request above will be mailed to the address noted on the police letter you provided which is redacted Now the reason she's staying in that is because there's also one other little email that I can't find where she's actually emailed me between 17th of January and 24th of January asking me to supply my postal address or my address it's on all of the fucking letters I attached <laughs> which is why she said which will be mailed to the above noted uh, letter on the police letter you have provided okay so that's why she said that regards County's Manukau 
no name on that one. I'm guessing it's Wendy. Perhaps she doesn't want to name herself anymore. See how they hide behind their own fucking shadows? No wonder they're scared little individuals of cameras. God damn. God, I mean, God forbid there be any transparency and accountability for any wrongdoing, eh? Um, and then it says, and, and no, of course I'm not drinking. So, um, then on the 24th of January, I respond, of course, same day, back to Wendy, saying, Hi, Wendy, thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Me. Just at the end of January, I think it might have been the 29th or 30th of January, I'll receive something in the post. A CD with three segments of footage. Now, the first footage um, is around 10 past 2 onwards. And once you skip through half of it, you actually just see me walking down the sidewalk, zooming in on the county's Manukau sign. I found it quite humorous that at the right angle, the flagpole wipes out the zero, or the O, in County's Manukau, making it look like County's Manukau. So, that was simply what I was doing. Now, if you guys consider public photography, or exercising rights in public, to be illegal or suspicious, then by all means, leave your comments. But, I don't. And neither should these guys. And if they consider it suspicious activity, turn off your fucking cameras. Turn off your CCTV. Stop being suspicious, New Zealand police. You know? Stop recording everybody in public. How fucking dare you? Someone might be afraid. And we don't want to upset those little people that are so afraid of their own fucking shadows in this world, do we? God forbid you exercise a little bit of freedom. Which is a word noted in section 14, just in case you haven't read it. So, they supply the footage, halfway through it shows me walking down the sidewalk. Now, The footage is of the camera facing towards Manukau County's um, Manukau Court. It's not facing towards the area where I was standing for 20 minutes, surrounded by the, the, all the police. For some reason, perhaps, that camera wasn't working. But there was definitely cameras on each corner of the building, and if that camera they supplied can show me the courthouse, then I lay a bit the camera on the other side facing in the other direction could have shown them detaining me. Even though Scott says, oh, I'm not detaining you. 
you're all wearing that same costume, you are all members, whether you want to call yourselves constables or officers, you're all members of the same fucking club. So, you know, if you stand by your fellow officer, grow some balls and accept that you were unlawfully detaining me. Okay? Now, during the entire video footage, and I'm going to put that up again in this video, during the entire footage, you will note that I was cordial. I did not raise my voice at all. I was quite humorous with them, because to me, a little bit of information with humor always goes down a little bit sweeter. Now, I wasn't rude, I wasn't offensive in any way, and yes, I don't have any front teeth. I actually, for Scott's benefit and his further intelligence gathering, are missing 13 teeth. So, yeah, um, big deal if I'm skinny and are wearing John Lennon glasses with a silver rim. What the fuck does that have to do other than show that you're wasting police resources jotting down fucking useless information? If you want to know what I look like, there's a channel with over 2,000 videos, you know, and you've jotted down two of my channels. You missed the other three, Scott. Can't be that intelligent. Anyway, so, um, I'll be back in one second. Pause. Now. And we're back. Just had to go and get the envelope. So this is the envelope we got at the end of January, and it's got... DVD with three Windows Media video files, WMV files on it, of one camera angle. Um, it's got a, a cover note there, or cover letter, and they've supplied oh, the photo, okay? And that's the photo that Scott was standing there trying to covertly snapshot of me while I was talking to Sam and Tony. So... Unfortunately, him taking a snapshot of me got my attention, which is when I turned around and started talking to him. So that's when he took that photo, just in case you think I wasn't being my own intelligent gathering. So, now what's more important, though, is on the back. The notes made at the time, okay? Now, bear in mind, notes made at the time of matter can be used for officers to refer to in a court of law. These can be used for evidence. Okay? Now, also bear in mind, Scott Dixon didn't show up until at least probably 15 minutes in. Alright? So, I want you to read or listen to what Scott, who I thought was a stand-up guy then, who now I consider to be nothing but a fabricating, falsifying evidence, lying sack of shit. Um, so, this is what he's read. Now, this is just a record number. It's been disclosed under the Official Information Act. It's got no personal information about anyone. All of it is publicly available information that's already in the public realm. So, as far as this incompetence, this document contains personal information and should not be used or disclosed in breach of the Privacy Act, fuck off. It's my information. And it's a publicly available information too. Anybody can ask for information in regards to any police matter that happened in the public. There may be redacted information, but you can ask for it. So, um, this is uh, record 31814604. Intelligence noting, 29th of the 8th, 2019, at 10 minutes, 9 minutes past 6 at night. So they made this some four hours afterwards. Give it a good enough time for you guys to, you know, fabricate shit and not think of things clearly. This is why I record at the time. There's no argument with the video. And it's not going to make you look very impressive at all, Scott. Okay. Um, category, intelligence noting. Type, car person acting suspiciously by using a camera on a sidewalk, exercising his rights. Reporting channel, officer discovered. No, I don't think so. There was nothing lost to be discovered. I was right out there in public. Scene, station, Manurewa. No, it was Manukau. Manurewa is a completely different station. I've been there and filmed too. Uh, reporting station, counties Manukau, district HQ. That's for head quackers, just in case you don't know what that stands for. Uh, 
Subject, films police, hyphen, will provoke staff. If provoking staff means that I'm out there saying, come on, come on, come talk to me, then that's provoking staff. Hey, you fucking assholes, you know, yelling abuse, trying to provoke something. Walking along exercising your rights is not in itself provocation. The only thing that was provoking is the paranoid delusions of New Zealand police thinking everybody's out there, everybody should be living in a perpetual state of fear and terror. Grow up. New Zealand's made of a lot of fucking can-do Kiwis, mate. She'll be right attitude, and there's no such thing as can't do in the Kiwi language, you're right? It's Kiwi injured, Kiwi injured, Kiwi cunning, as Billy T would say. So, you know, that's a disgrace for New Zealand police to consider someone exercising a right on a public footpath as provocation, when it's not. If anything, it's me testing I, myself, prefer no interaction. If you want to come and talk to me, that's fine. But I prefer none of you has come out and wasted any of your time with me. I prefer you all fucked off and left me alone every time so I could exercise my rights and freedom of movement in peace. But it doesn't happen that way. Because again and again, New Zealand police show themselves up to be scared of their own fucking shadows. And they clearly are uneducated and unprofessional. And I'm just saying that because of what I've already read in this report. But we'll move on. Um, location outside 42 Manukau Station Road, Manukau, Auckland 2104. Narrative created by SDAI19, which is Scott Dixon, Arsehole Initiative 19, on the 30th of the 8th, 2019 at 6 58. So he's created this narrative, all right. So he created this file a day after ABFN12, another constable, typed up his notes for him because there was no officer there starting with A. All right, it's it's, it's simple. There's Hannah, Sam, Tony, and Scott. There was no A. So whoever ABFN is had no interest, or is obviously just being someone's kitchen bitch and typing up someone else's notes for them. Right, and it says created on the 29th of August at 16.09 hours. Keen was seen by police staff filming, photographing police and staff vehicles in the car park as well as through windows and areas around Manukau District Headquarters. Do you see any of that in the footage? Another puppy up here too. See what's going on.
peekaboo. So it seems they like cameras just as much as we do. Looks like we've got a Jimbo following me. We've got a cop on the tail. <laughs> oh, what for? What are you up to? What's it look like I'm doing? Yeah, why are you taking the photos? I'm um, videoing. 30 oh. frames per second. Oh, okay. <laughs> How come? Because I wish to. Okay. Yep. I've just got to grab your details because you're taking pictures of police station and stuff. Uh, do you suspect me of committing an offence? Um, I've just been asked to by my Do you suspect me of committing an offence? Well, yeah, I don't know what you're doing. of what your senior says. Yeah. I'm not obliged to give you my details unless you suspect me of committing an offence. Well, I don't know what you're doing, so that's why I'm okay, asking so you. Okay, so you don't suspect me of committing an offence? Well, I'm going to detain you now. Oh, you're detaining okay. me? For what crime? I just want to talk to you and ask you for your details. Okay. So you want um, to detain me for what? I just want to grab your details. Well, I'm not giving him. I'm not obliged to give you my details unless you suspect me of committing an offence. So you're not aware of my rights. Sorry. I'm New Zealand. Yeah, I know. I saw you running. I'm just going to ring my, ring my um, senior. Okay. Who's your senior? Who are you? JK72. What's your name? What's your name? I don't have to give you my name. You've got my badge. Okay. You got a warrant card on you. You realise what I'm doing is perfectly legal and lawful. I'm ju I've just been instructed by my. Senior. Oh, irrespective of what your senior tells you, has he got authority over me if I haven't committed an offence? I'm not trying to offend you. Well, you've detained me for no reason. Well, you're obstructing my freedom of movement right now. I don't know, right I don't know what you're up to. Well, it doesn't matter what I'm up I to. Am I up to an offence? I don't know what you're up to. Well, then, unless you've got a reasonable belief that I've committed a gra reasonable grounds in some way, you've got no right to detain me. Why don't you get your senior out here, seeing you're following orders? You know, that didn't work well in the Nuremberg trials, did it? Following orders. They still swung. I don't appreciate getting stopped on a public footpath when I'm exercising my rights under the New Zealand Bill of it's Rights Act 1990, Section okay. 14, means I'm I have the freedom to seek, receive and impart information and opinions of any kind in any form, which means recording on public. Give me two ticks and I'll find out, OK? Well, I'm detained. I don't have a choice, do I? Beautiful station. Never seen it before. How long has it been here? No answer. Okay. Well, then I'll exercise my right to remain silent as well, then, shall I?
fine. So, so what's um, the grounds? I was actually just asked to come down here and chat to well, you. Well, irrespective of them, I'm, I'm not some muppet that just goes and freely gives my details to anybody that asks. Well, I'm a police officer, I'm not going to... Which not means you have no right to ask for my details well, unless you suspect me of committing an offence. Isn't that right? I'm sorry, I've studied law for seven years. You've got a shit show in hell of getting my details. Gonna be much longer? No, you can only detain me for 15 minutes for a deprivation, can't you? Yeah. And we're at eight minutes so far. So where's Dave? Is Dave coming down? No, no, I don't you at all. I just, I exercise my rights. You know? Not many people actually know them these days. It's a real shame. Okay? Cool. I'll be leaving in 15. I've got limited parking. I'm not getting towed. Yeah, I understand that. Oh. Whereabouts are you parked? Like in here or over there? On the ground. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not obliged to answer any questions. You know that, eh? I'd like to know who instructed you to unlawfully detain me. Well, I'm just what's your officer in charge of detail? Well, whether you're trying to, why do you have the right to get my details? Because I said you were taking photographs of the police building. And is that illegal? Okay. Well, I. <laughs> you, you know, Google drives past and takes photos of your police station. They've got far better pictures than I do. You realise that? I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous to stop someone. I, I get it, concern for safety and security, you know. So am I, that's why I record. Oh, great. Who have we got here? FTC 572. G'day, mate. That's a corker of a beard you've got there. You look Irish. You just need a leprechaun bucket and you'll be away laughing. What's up? I'm being unlawfully detained at the moment, so I'd like to know when I'm free to go. What are we got here? You good? DC 78? Yep. You good? Six years. What's his numbers? It's got no QIDs on you, bro. Oh, oh well, you can give me your ID in a minute. How's it going? Box of floppies. I've never seen this police station before. It's amazing. How long it's been here? Oh, I would say ten years or so. Shit. It's been built up in stages, so the first. Guys, to show how often I get to meet again. <laughs> it's amazing. Quite a complex. It's, it's smaller than it looks. Because the courthouse <laughs> used to be over there somewhere. Like 20 odd years ago, oh, last really? time I was around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I haven't been inside it. I only film from the public sidewalk. I don't want to go on the, on the property and give them cause of concern. You know, court <laughs> matters, Bill. Got to watch that. Yeah. What brings you to Public photography. Oh, I guess you take buildings and all that. Yep, taking oh, yeah. photos of all of them. 
That one's quite a nice one. Yeah, I've got some good up angle shots. Great yeah, perspectives. I quite like the, um, yeah. The metal external frame, eh? And that one over there is MIT as well, but it's still being built. I haven't got that far yet. No. So, what's the story? I'm still waiting to hear, sorry. Where are we at? Hey. <laughs> 15 minutes and then I'm walking away. Got Whether you want to go lawfully. Oh, I've got heaps. I thought you were overwest. Pardon? I thought you were overwest. What gives you that impression? Oh, you tuned things. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're a subscriber. Oh, I was going to come on. Good, good. Excellent. You guys are normally pretty good. <laughs> I think you'll, you'll pass with flying colours mainly, but I'd like to know who you are. This woman's uh, superintendent is, or whoever decided to detain me here for no reason. I'd like to know what offence I'm suspected of. Oh. None. So it's, so it's really Just curiosity. Yeah. You know what that does to the cat, so. Eh? <laughs> hey, Rewa. What section? You did well to run with all that kit on. I Gotta give you that. <laughs> you made me run. <laughs> I was just walking. I could have kept going, taking you for a walk if you like, I suppose. Well, they're not the most comfortable things to run in, I must say. No, I've got to admit, I've got similar for myself. I just like to put all the gears on and have about six cameras running. It oh, gets a bit heavy, yeah. yeah. Oh. How's Are the they ones with hey? the... How's the channel going? Yeah, brilliant. Good. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. About two and a half thousand subscribers, close on a million views now. So. Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. You making any money off it? No, I don't monetize. Yeah. I don't do it for money, I just do it for exercising my rights yeah. and teaching others to do the same, you know. Do you start making money once you hit a million subscribers? Oh, no. I, 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 I don't monetize my channel. Oh, okay. You've got you the, have option. the option. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People, some people do it for money, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I think I've got one Patreon, it pays me a dollar a month. So, you know, two years, I might have a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, I'm too worried about you know, I hate money, the wife loves it, it's a win-win situation. I'll give it yeah, to her. Yeah, it has its downsides, doesn't it? Yeah. It can be, make your life easy and it can make your life incredibly hard. Mind you, humans are the only ones that actually have to pay to live, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty hard to live without any. Uh, not paying rent makes a big difference. Oh, it's brilliant. Rent or mortgage, that'd be the life. I've got a little ambulance, uh, an old CF Bedford ambulance I have for oh, an and office. Got a little kit it yeah, mate. Oh, sweet. About six bloody screens in the thing. Oh, right. Solar panels all standalone. Oh, I was going to say, how do you run it? <laughs> Bought it off an ex cop, ironically. And oh, really? Bobby from over in the UK. Oh, okay. Nice bloke. Did he buy it here and do it up? I think he bought it in um, Papakura and then he drove down to Wellington in it and then I flew down to Wellington and bought it off him two weeks later because his brother had bought another one at the same time so he didn't need two so oh, yeah. it was all good. Sweet. Well hopefully you got a good deal on it then. Oh yeah, 3,200, you can't go wrong. It's a fiberglass body, it's about 6mm thick on the side and out and it's all insulated right round so even in the winter it's beautiful and warm. Yeah. 1984. So, yeah, the old so, classic Holden 202 with the Trimatic gearbox, you know, it goes like a rocker. <laughs> Saw a fella the other day with a uh, really old school Ford Transit that he'd converted. Oh, that nice. Oh, I used to have an old CF nice. Jumbo. Very well, eh? Yeah, yeah. Had a little you got to watch. in it, it wasn't very safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to make sure they were roadworthy. Oh, yeah. And you don't poison yourself with carbon monoxide while yeah. you're at it. Oh, this, this has still got the old, you know, all the switches up the front and the ear, the ear oh. little pop out things like you have in an airplane. It's still got all the original gear in it. Oh, cool. Baby blue inside, you know, that calming colour. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they say baby blue is good for appetite suppressant as well. Yeah, well, I don't eat blue. much. Probably works then. Well, I'm always hungry <laughs> on this every day, so. Yeah. Yeah, we're always hungry, but I don't know if it's anything to do with the uniform. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's not a bad building. Yeah, she, she leaks a bit though. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Leaky houses syndrome. Everything leaks these days. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Houses, commercial buildings. I, I, I was impressed why they've got the little crests up in the courthouse, up in the top eaves there, right yeah. along the little mouldings. Yeah. 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 But yeah, bit much. Bit... <laughs> oh, I've been upstairs to the judges' quarters. Oh, have you? That is flash. Oh, I'm sure it is. We get nothing like that. Nah. <laughs> we get absolutely nothing. Now our office is very utilitarian. Yeah, this happens. is a bit more plush. They have a fancy coffee machine and everything. Oh yeah. 
without the judges. Well, they still get, get they still get paid after they retire for about five or ten That's years. Ridiculous. Same with politicians, isn't it? MPs, yeah, they yeah. Get, they, they, they get paid for life. Yeah, I find that ridiculous. To be fair. But hey, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I love I studying them, eh? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I took you guys on last year at court for, 80, for an $80 speed off. camera ticket. And oh, I won. Yeah. After 10 months, 4 appearances, oh, I beat 3 of your prosecutors <laughs> <laughs> and case dismissed. What's the most obscure law you've come across? Oh, shit. Um, I bet there's some really old, old school ones. Oh, the one where it, you can park at the south end of a main street of any of any town and yeah. still have a pee at the back back tyre. It's like a horse and carriage. As long as you park at the south end of any city or town, yeah. you can still get out and pee by your back back tyre if you that's can't so get to a toilet. <laughs> so that that's one from the old horse and cart days. Far out. But uh, yeah, that and distress damage fees is a favourite one of mine. Seeing people getting towed and they just come and take the clamps off all of them and let them go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, clampers are pretty nasty. Well, eh? There's no law. They do a there's there's job. no law supporting them. You know, I, I, I caught them around at uh, Waitakere City. Uh, they made 600 bucks, or well, 400, because I got one lady out of her clamps. Yeah. But there's no law supporting the, the road user or the clamper. Mm. It's only when they bring the towing service in, then you've got salvage and towing laws. Oh, okay. And then if you show up, put your keys in the, you know, in the door, prove you're the owner of the vehicle, mm. the towie has to drop it. And you don't uh -huh. have to pay a release fee oh, because okay. you didn't call the towie. Mm. The towing, the Very parking good. services did, so they are on the block for that. Oh, I'll keep that in mind it's if on, I it's on Fair Go. <laughs> look, look it up on Fair Go, you're oh, on my channel, but uh, on, on Fair Go, there's, uh, it's called The Law is a Cow. Is and Fair Go still it, running? Uh, I haven't well, seen it's it on YouTube. Yeah, sure. But uh, yeah, it's amazing shit you can find. Yeah, I mean it's all on the internet, isn't it? Yeah. You just have to look for it. Oh, There's it nothing is. hidden. <laughs> Come on, so we've got Where some are we at? Supervisors coming just to. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah so. Oh, there is. Two cars, what, four policemen? <laughs> For illegal and lawful activity, it's just brilliant. He's a famous YouTuber, mate. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's what, 200? You've got a nice car on camera, though. Yeah, they're quite flash, aren't they? <laughs> I remember where they all got painted down in uh, East Tamaki there. They, they got the contract, and we just saw heaps of cop cars coming in and coming out oh, to getting yeah. them fitted out. Yeah, all the stickers and stuff. Yeah, on it's really cool. Yeah, man. Someone else does it now. True. Yeah, they got different. Parking on broken yellows. That's a hundred and twenty dollar ticket there. Should have his lights on. Yeah, I, I've got a mate that's a parking warden. He actually gave you guys a ticket because you stopped at a kebab shop, and he oh, goes, "Nah, no. you're not in the execution on your duty." So he gave them a ticket. Kebab shop doesn't quite cut it. No, no, there was there was no crime in the kebab, which is quite funny. Oh no. He looked happy. Probably missing his dairy. <laughs> Just about to have a dairy and... Yeah. <laughs> so you normally live out west? I live wherever I'm standing. Otherwise oh, okay. I'd be dead wherever I was, wouldn't I? <laughs> I live on earth. <laughs> You've got to know the language, don't you? It's all in the words. Legalese. You know, when you guys ask someone if they've been drinking, drinking means alcohol. It doesn't mean beverage or liquids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means alcohol. But people yeah. don't realise that. You know? Yeah. It's sort of a given that people assume when they're asked. Well, they, they, all, they all think. They assume alcohol. Well, they all think they're persons, don't they? Mm. You're not a person. A persona is just a mask that you use. It's your mm. name, it's a corporation. I'm sure you've seen all the free man of the land stuff online, it's bloody crazy shit. <laughs> I tried a lot of that when I first started, none of that shit worked at all. Way. Once, once I started learning your own rules, and then holding you to those rules, started winning. That's where you start making yeah. them ground, eh? Yeah, well, I made the council pay back 11 other people that got ticketed. They park it outside um, Waitakere Court, so-called Broken Yellows, but there's hockeys as well. So I oh, proved okay. in court set case law and then went to Auckland Transport because if they'd kept those other tickets, yeah. that would be fraud. 
because it's misleading oh, marking. Now they know it. Yeah. yeah. So they had to refund the others, otherwise be done. I got a ticket for yeah, the other day for Living parking. people, they got 60 bucks back, I don't <laughs> mind. Hi. How are you, mate? Yeah, brilliant. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Acting Senior Sergeant Scott Dixon from the County's Manicure District Headquarters. Oh, yeah. AI 19? Yeah, Sierra Delta, Alpha India 19. Brilliant, Alpha Numerics, love them. Yep. So am I free to go yet? Because I've been yeah. unlawfully detained for That's about right. 20 minutes now. I've, I never detained you. No, well she has, so, yep. so am, I, acting... am I still being no, detained? No, or? it was just until I could find out what I was meant to be doing. Still, I was still by detained else, for yeah. no reason though, for illegal and lawful activity. So. Well I but didn't say you've done anything I'm, wrong, I just enough. said you'd done fair anything enough. wrong, I just said I had to wait to find out from my supervisor who sent me down here. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> chain of command and all that, yeah. she did well to catch up with me too. That's on me, and I didn't send her down here. That's alright, so. no it was Dave, I, I know that, yep. I heard her talking to him, yeah, so it's so, all good. Yep, yeah. yep. So Dave's a bit of a panic merchant. That's alright. So our concern, as in, you're, you're, you're entirely correct, and you are free to go, so you don't have to stand here and listen to me. I don't mind to. listening. Um, is you're All good in, for the channel. Yeah, you're in a public place, yeah. and you're quite entitled to take photographs of anything while in your public place, just like we are as well. Um, our concern it's is... There's heaps of them everywhere. Oh, I know, they're <laughs> all over the place, right? right there. So our, our, our concern is, um, with, with the gun buyback situation and oh, all that sure. sort of stuff, with the containers out of here, mm -hmm. it's a security... Um, I have security no, no means for you, no real intent, so it's so, all good. Yeah, yeah, so that's good as gold, and we're just making a, an inquiry with you about why... It's alright, you guys know who I am, I don't need to identify myself, he seems to know I'm out west, so... Oh, well, I don't, I've never met you before. He's a subscriber, he can give you the channel. Oh, nice. Join yeah, on. Yeah, so I've never met you before, so That's anyway, right. like hey. I said, I'm Scott Dixon, so good nice you, to meet Scott. you. What yep. was your name? Hannah. Hannah, good to meet you, Hannah. Tony. Tony, good to meet you. Sam. Sam, you're an awesome chatter. <laughs> alright guys, well, I'm going to get back to my car before my parking uh, runs out. Yep, good as gold. Alright, yes. all right. have a good day. Have a nice day. See you. Good Bye. Am I zooming in on staff car parks? Am I zooming in on windows? Short of just checking to see if the blinds are shut, am I zooming in? Am I peering into these windows? Am I gathering intelligence? Or am I walking around the entire area, photographing many buildings, recording the fucking roller coaster at Rainbow's End? I was there for a good 40 fucking minutes recording the entire area. I don't get out to Manukau much. It's changed a lot. So, see how they put it in that narrative to make it think it's all personally against the police. Oh shit, he's recording our personal vehicles with publicly available information on them. You know, perhaps we should keep our vehicles inside the gates and stay off the public realm so they can't see them. I mean, grow the fuck up. <sighs> Next paragraph. He was spoken to by a police member, really she identified as a police officer, even though she's only a constable, the police officer is, is the crown entity, the slave that's working for them, you know, the constable's the one there working for the Queen, upholding the oath, but uh, see, cops don't know they're serving two masters, you know, why do you think you're out there gaining revenue all fucking day long, do you think that's helping anybody's harm, loss or injury, hmm? Is there any peace being broken there, other than the, the breaches of peace that you're creating by hitting people up for money and then causing stress in families? Is there? Now, he was spoken to a police member and claimed he was being unlawfully detained. That's because it was. Raising his voice at the staff member, no I didn't, and that is a complete falsification. If my voice was in any way slightly louder than it should have been, it was because I was standing right next to a main fucking road. And if it's um, raising his voice at the staff member, well, perhaps when someone's having a conversation, it's usually one person talks, while the other one, Hannah, shuts the fuck up and lets them finish their sentence. If Hannah hadn't tried to butt in halfway through what I was asking her about whether or not she knew my rights or not, and what section 14 was, 
then it wouldn't have seemed like I was talking over the top of it. So perhaps Hannah needs to learn some more communication skills as well in that training. Uh, and bear in mind, this is all typed up by um, by ABFN12, who, whoever the fuck that is, you know? They had no first-hand knowledge, so how the hell do they know this? They clearly weren't watching the video and going by that, not narrative, but fact. Um, I'll carry on. Unlawfully detained. Raising his voice at the staff member and trying to get a reaction. No, I wasn't. I was asking questions. And if you didn't want to have an interaction with me, you shouldn't have come sprinting down the road. You shouldn't have followed old fucking Dave's orders in the first place, should you? Further staff arrived and spoke with Keen. The name's Mark, by the way. Who has... Who, who was reasonable to deal with, however, did not stop filming the interaction. Was I supposed to? Let's just read further. You're about to get a, a little bit of a hypocritical contradiction coming on in a second. Acting Senior Sergeant Scott Dixon spoke with Keane 15 minutes in when he arrived uh, and identified he had not committed any offences and was free to film. Oh, well, if I'm free to film, why does the sentence above that say did not stop filming? Eh? However, the situation was explained to him around police having to speak with him to rule out any threat he or anyone else posed while loitering around a police station. I wasn't loitering around your police station. I was exercising my rights. I was there for a specific purpose. Loitering would imply that I had no purpose in being there. So, again, see how the narrative is. I'm trying to make it out that I'm just a troublemaker. Alright? Keen seems to have reasonable knowledge around basic police policy. Well, thank you. I actually have a little bit more than basic knowledge. And his rights to film in public. And will do what he can to get a reaction from police staff for his YouTube channel. Nope. As I've just explained, I don't, I prefer no interaction. Alright? I don't care. What would be really good for me is to not have police officers come out and talk to me while I'm trying to exercise my freedoms. It's that simple, people. I'm not trying to get a rise out of these assholes. I'm showing them up for their fucking ignorance of the law. The thing they're supposed to be upholding. So yeah, they think I'm just out there trying to get views for YouTube channel. It's not it at all. If these fuckers hadn't sent me two thirty two thirty um, dollar speed camera tickets in two thousand and eleven and started me learning the law in the first place, none of this would have happened. So just think about that. They created this monster. Ah, <sighs> Keen will do anything in his power. Great, I've got some power now. Anything in his power to make police staff look unprofessional and uneducated. Nope, you do that all by yourselves. You need no help from me whatsoever at all. I, I didn't say now I want you to do this and do that. I didn't direct the situation. I just filmed how you have been trained. Which is slightly, if not fully, unprofessional and uneducated. According to Tamil saying that she didn't know she needed reasonable grounds to detain me in the first instance. So who's uneducated here? I mean, clearly it's not me. Apparently I have basic understandings of police policy. No, I've, I've had eight years of studying legislature. Probably more than your senior sergeants. But let's move on, because it gets better. Um, Keen was wearing a black beanie. Purple round sunglasses with a silver rim, because that's important. A camouflage green-brown swan dry type jacket and a brown khaki cargo pants as shown in the photo attached to noting. That. Um, he was filming with a large... Well, thank you. Some do say it is quite a large apparatus I carry around with me. Uh, a large handheld camera. It's called a Nikon P900, and you fuckers will be paying for it if you ever break the cunt. With a carry strap around his neck, 
that's just proving I don't want to break the gun. He is of skinny build, yeah, 70 kilos, with grey scruffy short facial hair. No, she had a shave. He is missing approximately four of his front teeth. Now, you notice all of this description here is just to knowing that if I ever read this, this is going to piss me right off. It's just trying to demean me, which is why I've now changed my opinion on little missy fucking acting Sergeant Scott Dixon. You know, you have fabricated nothing but a full out pack of lies in these notes. None of this happened. At no time was I trying to aggravate the situation. And in fact, I was being detained. I couldn't leave even if I fucking wanted to. So who created that situation? Dave. Okay. We'll move on. He was filming yeah, and missing his teeth. And then it says King's main YouTube channel is CKA Mark of the House of King. Thanks for the promotion, guys. And second channel is Mark and Man. Nope. That's actually now changed its name to Question, followed by Question Mark. That is what I've turned that channel into. Unfortunately, you're missing the other three YouTube channels that I also play around with, but that's all right. We'll consider that further intelligence gathering, shan't we? All right. And get this. This is just the, the ring dinger cover note that came with the, the footage and the notes. Dated 23rd of January. Dear Mr. Keane, request for information. Our reference number, IR 0119, whatever. We refer to your request for information transferred, uh, transferred to Counties Manukau from the Department of Internal Affairs on the 18th of December 2019. They love mentioning that, don't they? In your request, you state 1. Please supply any and all CCTV footage. Any and all. Not one camera angle. Any and all. Or were all of the other camera angles fucked that day, were they? Notes made at the time held by Counties Manor. Perhaps I should start asking for, under Official Information Act for all of the police communications in relation to that too. You know, perhaps that's why it's not done over the comms. Perhaps that's why it's done on cell phones. Because you then, then go and get a judge to give Vodafone a fucking order for them to give you the footage because it's through their cell phone provider. And that's a great little way to keep that information out of the public Official Information Act requests. You know, if it's not internal communications, then you have to go to get a court order for Vodafone to release you that information. It's that simple. So... That's why they always communicate with each other via the cell phone versus the actual official police communication channels like their CBs and RTs. That just cost millions of dollars to do all the upgrades to. CCTV footage. Notes made at the time held by counties in relation to myself being unlawfully detained by JK72. So that's why I got those notes. The footage of myself will be between 2.15 and 2.40 on the 29th of August. Police reference, same one. Please supply all publicly available information available in relation to this incident. I'll repeat that. Please supply all publicly available, not released, publicly available information, which means all information that I'm allowed. Because they just don't understand English. Your, um, we require the identity of the supervisor, Dave who instructed JK72 to obtain my details for video recording on a public footpath. Your request has been considered in accordance with the Privacy Act 1993 and we enclosed notes made at the time in relation to the incident. We also enclosed the CCTV footage you requested. The supervisor who instructed JK72 to obtain your details was Senior Sergeant Dave Readings, DRG 603 QID number. All right. So that's who Dave the Panic Merchant is. Senior Sergeant Dave Readings. I really hope you've learnt from this, mate. You know, if any of you's had any fucking set of cojones on you or balls at all, you'd suck up your pride and you'd come and fucking personally apologise to me. That's what a real man does. You know, we don't fuck around with paperwork. We look at each other eye to eye and say, fuck man, I overstepped. You grow up, you be the man or the woman, and you say, our bad. You don't double down, triple down, waste millions of dollars of taxpayers' money sometimes defending cases such as torture, breaches of Articles 12, 13 and 14 by the New Zealand government and the Lake Alice children, which has just been found first time ever in the world. Alright? 
the case law set now, anyone in the world can use that because the New Zealand government will not fucking accept responsibility for any of their wrongdoing. And the police has acted really badly in that case. They should have prosecuted and locked up Dr. Leeds, but they didn't. He was protected by the psychiatrists. I tell you, mate, big story. Go and watch the video from the CCHR um, event on the 31st of January if you want to know about that. It is shocking, and there is a lot more coming out about that. Not to mention police fucking enforcing non-existent police protection orders. Hmm? How's that work? Serco don't like apologising much, do you? We do not know which publicly available information you refer to. All publicly available information in relation to the matter. Do you not know what the matter is? I don't get it. At point two of your request, we have not released any information about this matter into the public domain. See, so they're thinking publicly available information is publicly is information that they have released through the police media centre into the public realm. Publicly available information is any information that I, as a member of the public, am entitled to when I put in a fucking request. Not what you've put in the post, not what you've put in the papers or the fucking news. That's released information. I'm asking for all publicly available information in relation to the matter. That can be all notes, everything that I'm entitled to. So, again, they like to muddy the, and cloud the, the phrases. Just, you know, and it, all it does is show them further uneducated and unprofessional. But not all of them. I will say there are some police out there, few, very few and far between. There are police officers that are in it for the right reasons. I feel fucking deepest sympathy for those bastards because you're trapped in a fucking system that you've got no chance of changing. You know? And I, I've spoken to a few retired cops now. Shocking stuff. They, they would never work for the New Zealand police in this day and age given the current climate. Yep, we can supply only information which police hold about you. So that's the only information they hold about me. Well, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I am going to put a privacy request and put my entire fucking file from the New Zealand police. My personal profile number, you know, my PPN number. I'm going to ask for all of that. You know? Much like another mate of mine did. And even though there's over 90 odd entries, he only got 56. How'd that happen? Or, or a number very close to that. They finish it off, of course, with the normal bullshit. If you are dissatisfied with this response, you may also lodge a complaint to the Privacy Commissioner, who may investigate the decision. Or, what, no Ombudsman this time? So I've got the Privacy Commissioner when it comes to an Official Information Act request to complain to, and I've got the Ombudsman to complain if I don't like the IPCA. See how many gatekeepers you guys all pay for that do absolutely fuck all? Like the JCC, Judicial Conduct Commissioner. Yeah, 1,800 odd complaints since 2016. Zero upheld. So what fucking point are they? No, what use are they? You're telling me that 1,800 people were all full of shit? No. Anyway, guys. Um, as I said, sorry for the long one. I hope you all are safe and well and enjoying your new year. I am doing a shitload of work at the moment. Running around like a blue ass fly. Um, helping out Families for Justice and um, the International Human Rights Advocate that's coming over. Um, he's going to be on tour in the next couple of weeks um, around the North Island at least. Uh, Waitangi on the 5th, Hamilton on the 7th and 8th, Auckland 9th, 10th and 11th and Wellington on the 12th and 13th as far as I'm aware. Alright, and he's travelled over 28 hours to get here from Norway. Anyway, keep yourself all posted. Thank you for staying loyal and enjoying. Um, I felt it's, this was due, uh, especially seeing I've now got the footage and you can all see Hannah sprinting down to catch me. See you later, guys. Much love. Okay.